So, <clears throat> ever since this shooting in Florida, this school shooting, uh, the left, of course, has gone after the guns. Naturally. I mean, what else are they going to go after? Mental health? No. You know, common sense measures? No. Like arming teachers in school? Oh, hell no. Uh, raising your kids right? No. Looking at medications that might make your kids snap? You know, serotonin reuptake inhibitors that might that actually are linked to mental instability? No. So, <laughs> this is just a quick video on the kind of things I'm sick and tired of hearing. Number one, the idea of arming teachers. Now, if you send your kid to a school and your kid survives a school shooting, a mass school shooting, I don't understand why it is that you would not be in favor of having teachers that are trained and armed in your classrooms. So the next time, or if, your kid dies in a mass shooting at a school, and you're one of those that poo-pooed on the idea of having armed teachers in school, don't you come crying to anybody. Instead, hold up a mirror. And <clears throat> don't go crying about, we've got to do something. Because you know what? You could have done something, and you dismissed it. You chose not to do it. Here's another thing about the let's do something, we've got to do something crowd. Well, you know what? There's all kinds of options out there. You can actually do something if you wanted to. You could be the next chemist that discovers the link between serotonin reuptake inhibitors and somebody snapping. Okay? You, that could be you if you really wanted to do something. You could stay in school and get a an actual education instead of gender studies, women's, W-Y-M-I-N's studies, or underwater basket weaving and things like that. You could go into the field of mental health and you could do some research. You could be the researcher that discovers a way to treat mental illness and yet not have people snap from the medications. Of course, you might run into some trouble with the pharmaceutical company, Big Pharma, you know. I mean, it takes billions of dollars to research these medications. And so you can imagine that if some little tiny thing goes wrong or something that, you know, would, would make a person snap in a medication is discovered, well, these pharmaceutical companies that have spent billions on research, if there's one little thing wrong with that medication, they might have some incentive to cover it up, sweep it under the rug. You could work on exposing that kind of thing if you really wanted to do something. Okay, now those are some pretty lofty goals that not many people would be able to achieve. I understand that. But if you still want to do something, and I assume you mean somebody else to do something, of course, not you personally. But hey, let's say that you genuinely are interested in doing something. You personally are interested in taking some kind of action and doing something. And naturally, everybody that says this wants to feel safe, right? So I'll get to that one in a minute. Here's something you could do. You could take it upon yourself to go to a gun range and try shooting a gun for once in your life instead of just talking about guns, right? You can actually go learn something about guns so that you know what in the fuck you're talking about when you talk about guns. Instead of getting on social media and on the news and ranting about how the problem is all about guns and the technicalities thereof, which you have zero understanding of, and Actually go learn something real. Have some genuine knowledge about firearms. You could go take a safety training course. Or you could go train in a safety course, a handgun safety course, which is, by the way, required for most states in the country. Now, even if it's not required, why would you not want to go take something like that? It could be fun, it could be interesting, and you could learn a lot. 
At the very least, you could learn some self-protection measures. Let's say you have zero intention of owning a gun or even touching a gun or even looking at one, okay? There's a term for the fear of an inanimate object. Actually, the term specifically applies to the fear of guns, which are inanimate objects. The term is called hopalophobia. If you want to get rid of your hopalophobia, your fear of guns, which are, again, inanimate objects, right? They don't get up and walk away themselves. They don't go off on their own. You have to actually, somebody has to physically pick it up and squeeze that trigger in order for it to go off. If you want to get rid of your hopalophobia, but you don't actually want a gun, no problem. Go take a safety course anyway, because in those courses are often uh, concepts are introduced that could help keep you safe in a dangerous situation anyway, such as training on how to be self-aware, how to be aware of your surroundings, how to listen to your gut when your gut's telling you there's something wrong, okay? Simple things like approaching your vehicle with your keys already in your hand because your keys can be used as a weapon. Other things like carrying mace in your purse or on your person. Carrying a knife. Maybe a little bit of training on how to use a knife. Having that phone handy so that you can either use it to record or call somebody if you need help. Understanding who you're with, what kind of person they are and what their intentions might be. Simple things like this that surprisingly not everybody out there knows or understands or even thinks about. So you could go take a firearm safety training course and get all of those little things added in. Maybe you don't want a gun, that's perfectly fine. Go do something though. Take a martial arts course. Go work out, get in shape. All of those things I would consider actually doing something. Getting on social media is not doing something. All right, let's talk about the other one I have a, a beef with lately. Nobody should have to feel and then fill in the blank. Usually it's that way or unsafe or fearful or, you know, whatever it is. Well, guess what? Saying that doesn't change the fact that people do feel unsafe, frightened, you can't just say, oh, nobody should have to feel, and then somebody waves a magic wand, and then all of a sudden nobody feels that way anymore, right? The focus is all on your feels. Well, let me tell you something. If you wanted, I could make you safe, but you may not feel safe. You would actually be safe, but you may not feel safe. Now, on the other hand, I could actually make you feel safe, but you wouldn't really be safe at all. Which one would you rather have? Would you rather feel safe and not actually be safe, or actually be safe and maybe feel apprehensive, still fearful? You know which one I'd pick. I'd rather be safe than feel safe. So. The next time you hear somebody say, nobody should have to feel that way, well, you don't get to decide how people feel. Not even they get to decide that. You do, however, have some control over how you feel, and the way to have control over how you feel is to do something about it. Another one. Oh, it's all about the children. Our children shouldn't have to feel unsafe. You know, I'm sorry. That's a bunch of hooey. I can't remember the exact quote, but it went something like this. The state should always be perceived to be the protector of the child. Because as long as the government is taking care of the children, the government can impose or can strip away all kinds of liberties and the citizenry will suffer that, right? They'll just give up their liberties as long as the children can be safe. Well, I'm sorry, fuck your kids. Your kids don't get to be used against me when I've done nothing wrong and specifically for the purpose of disarming me. How dare you? Uh-uh, I don't allow that. You 
shouldn't even be trying that. Well, you know who said that quote? Now, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna have to do another video and I'm gonna have to actually get that quote out here. You know who came up with that insidious, horrible thought that as long as the government is perceived as being the one taking care of the children, the citizenry will give up all their liberties and suffer any kind of, any kind of whatever the government wants to do to them. And you know who said that? Adolf Hitler. So when you come crying about how, oh, the kids shouldn't have to feel, and it's all for the children, guess what you're being? You're being literally Hitler. <laughs> Didn't think about that, did you? No. Probably not, because you're so emotionally overwrought, and you're not looking at reality. It was only 17 kids. You know how many people die in the United States every day from slipping and falling in their bathtub? You know how many kids die every day from misdiagnosis of their medications or their mental state, and they take the wrong meds? You know how many kids die every day from that Tide Pod challenge? You've heard about that, right? latest and greatest fun thing for kids of single parent families to do to just get some attention is swallow one of the Tide Pods and go to the emergency room and have to have their stomachs pumped and then get on some medications so they can flush all those toxins out of their system that very nearly kills them if it doesn't kill them outright. So I'm so sorry. Cry me a river about 17 kids at this school in a gun-free zone which you refuse to address by having armed teachers in those gun-free zones about those kids dying. I'm sorry, I just have no sympathy left and I'm sick and tired of hearing all the rhetoric about what has to be done, which is namely taking away people's guns, taking away their personal property and their liberty and their ability to defend themselves, not having it. And the majority of Americans, unlike your perception that you might get from the news, agree with me, not with the left, not with the parents of those children who died in that school and still are against the idea of having armed guards or armed teachers in their school who still scream about doing something and it's all legislative action against gun owners blaming the NRA etc etc and this country is going downhill fast isn't it <laughs> enjoy it while it lasts because you'll know when the time comes when soldiers start marching door to door and confiscating your weapons I'm going to have my neighbors let me know if that starts happening. I've got friends who are armed who are going to call me and say, hey, this is happening. And if I see it happening, you're damn right. I'm going to get on the phone. I'm going to jump in my truck or jump on my bike. And I'm going to let everybody that I know who's armed that this is starting to happen. So be safe out there, everybody. Don't feel safe. Be safe. Use common sense. Have a great day.